Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hoffman and I am here once again showing you how to build another one of my mocks. This time we are doing Regron, the Gravitational General. You guys voted last time during how to build IAX, and both Gameth and Regron had the same number of votes. So this time we'll be doing Regron and next time we will be doing Gameth. Alright, there's a lot to get to with this mock, so without further ado, let's get started. We will begin with the legs. Alright, so starting with the legs, as usual, with the parts laid out like this, feel free to pause the video and build whatever you see here. And to start with, we will take this Anika foot piece, and then take this Technic connector piece with the uh, extend extended uh, axle on it, stick it in the, in the uh, available pin on the foot, then take the pin axle and cheese slope, stick it in the side of this Technic connector with two blue pins on it and then go ahead and just stick that on the back of the foot like so just like many of my other tutorials this time take a Anika ball joint and stick it on top of that axle right there and that's how you build the foot uh, moving on let's do the lower leg so for the lower leg you'll need a metro torso piece put two trans purple studs on either side then go ahead flip it upside down Take a three long axle with a stud on the end, put these two gears over it, and this is all for filler, so this is all optional if you want. Put the stud on the inside of the gearbox like so, and then follow it up by filling in the available holes with just regular Mata gears, like so. Uh, next, go ahead and set that down for a second. Take this Metro chest plate piece and this three long uh, lift arm put two three long pins in it and then stick it into the available holes on the metro torso then follow that up with a three long stud axle stick that through the available hole and then put a hand connector right in the middle then go ahead and attach that all to the metro torso lining it all up the way you would build a Toa metro back in 2004 and that's most of it now, uh, go ahead and take another hand connector and in the uh, stagger it in the middle of the three axle pie pieces in there and then stick a three long axle almost all the way through right about there, leaving about a one length uh, extension sticking out and you will need this front hole available so don't replace that with a four long or anything. Uh, go ahead and take the slicer foot piece and this is mirrored on the other side but Go ahead and stick it on one side, like so, of this hand connector down here. Then go ahead and take one of these rubber pieces that have the uh, two axle holes on them, and then go ahead and attach that onto the open axle right there. Then go ahead and take one of these new uh, monster foot pieces, and then just put that on the, and stick that onto the rubber piece, like so. And that allows that to basically stay flush with the back of the uh, lower leg there. Then go ahead and take one of these new 2015 armor add-on pieces and just stick it right on the front there. And that's the lower leg. Go ahead and snap that to the foot. Just like that. Alright, and finally for the upper leg, uh, go ahead and take this piece and this piece. And this is a new uh, 90 degree angle piece with two, um, with two washers on either side and a three long axle stick that into the available hole right there and go ahead and take this Hordika neck piece and layer it right in between the two empty spots so the ball joint is sort of holding that uh, axle piece in take the red pin and stick it in the bottom hole of this contraption here so it holds it in just like that and that uh, angled axle piece should stay in perfectly fine then take a Baraki armor piece and then stick the whole assembly right in that section. And then go ahead and fill it in with a three long axle, just like that. Then take a hand connector piece and simply just on this back hole right here, stick that in with a three long axle. Then last but not least, uh, take these Technic connectors right here and on the inside, take this uh, three long lift arm, stick it on like so, 
And then last but not least, attach this whole thing assembly straight onto the back and pushing all those pins in and then top it off with a Metru armor piece. Go ahead and snap that to the leg and that is how you build Vagron's legs. You'll need to and you'll need to mirror this slicer foot on the bottom but other than that they're perfectly symmetrical. And moving on. Alright and we will continue with the arms. To begin we will begin with the lower arm build these two constructions you see here out of uh, Glatorian neck pieces and then go ahead and clip them together like so just like that then following that take a uh, three long half uh, lift arm like so and apply it like that then go ahead and take this whole section here and slide that over the top and then cap it off on the other end with another one just like that and then set that down. Next go ahead and take these two uh, angled Technic lift arms, fill in, a, fill in these studs with um, little skid plate details like that, and then take this piece and facing it like this, stick it on just like that on both sides till you get something like that. Then, on either side of the two axle holes, put these two pieces connected like so. Next, take your two constructions and slap them together so that this axle goes through that hole. And then you'll get something like this. Following that, take these two Anika, or Nomada neck pieces and stick them into the holes on the Anika armor piece, like that. Then grab, then set that down and grab these pieces. This is a five long Technic lift arm piece and this is one of those angular um, Technic uh, gearbox connector, connections. Put these two pins all the way through like that and then stick that to the front of this construction just like this. Then you get something like that. All right, and then next take this hand connector, put two gears on either side, just like so, and put a ball joint in there, half pin, half axle, and then stick that onto the front, just like that. Then on the top, take this uh, three long uh, axle pin conversion piece and stick that all the way through the top hole, just like so. Then go ahead and add the cannons onto it. So take two axle extenders and put them onto the pin pieces we inserted earlier. And then take one pin extender piece and stick that on the pin on the top, just like that. Go ahead and attach the hand, because it's just a fist piece. And then last but not least, we'll take this uh, whole Stronius chest plate piece, line up the two holes with the two Mata neck pieces, just like that. And then put two axles running all the way through straight down and that's his lower arm his upper arm is a lot simpler so take this um, six long chain piece and then these pieces and you'll need to combine them just like so so take this Anika armor piece and put a two long pin through it but this time stick it all the way through just like that and then on the front, take this chain piece, clip it over the top, and then attach the whole thing to the inside. Then next, wrap it around the whole thing and clip the other end of the chain together in a ring until you get something like that. And then go ahead and line those chain links up to the other side, like so. Uh, go ahead and take this uh, Tahu shield blade piece and stick the uh, half pin, half axle into one of the holes of the chain link on the inside and that will float around freely. And then, last but not least, take this whole Anua shovel piece, put a pin, uh, put a stud pin in the top hole and a gear on the bottom, and then go ahead and apply. Now this piece should actually be facing the other way and go ahead and apply it to the whole thing making sure the axle on the inside goes into through the chain 
and it connects all together just like that. And I believe that's correct. Uh, nope, the Anika armor should be facing down. Alright, and there you have it. And then go ahead and clip the two pieces together by the ball joint. And that is how you build Regron's arms. Next we will move on to the waist. Alright, now time for the waist. These are the parts you'll need. Go ahead and start with a 11 long link chain with a with two one and a half long pins on either end and in the center link put a one long uh, stud pin in there with a purple stud on top. Build this contraption out of the Vaki waist with the one and a half long pin in the middle, a four long axle, and a Technic connector in the center facing upwards. Next go ahead and take these parts and stick them together like so. Then proceed to take this skate piece and attach it on like that. Put a four long axle going all the way through and put a washer on either side like that and s attach that to the back of the Vaki waist in the bottom hole like so then take two very useful pieces and stagger them on either side of the torso to hold it in place next take this one uh, one long washer and stick that in the gap in between the skate piece here and take this uh, four long um, lightsaber rod stick that all the way through like so then following that take two of these new pieces with the half stud or one and a half length axle or pin and stick that on either side like so and then next take these two constructions and these these are these unique pieces they usually use those for like flick fire missiles and lego sets and stuff like that so take two of these and attach them like so. So flip these up like this and then attach them on either side like that. Go ahead and throw this Metro torso chest plate on the front onto that half pin right there. And then following that take these two uh, one long pin pieces with the little greeble over it and attach those here and here. Alright, and then take these big two uh, Anua shovel pieces from Bionicle 2015, attach the uh, claws and the gear onto it like so, and then put this whole, put it straight onto the Technic connector like that. So they lay down over it like so. And then, last but not least, take the chain and on the middle attachment, stick that straight in the middle hole there, and then put the other two pins onto the upper hole in on both sides of the Anua shovel piece. And that is how you build that is how you build Regron's waist. Alright, and we will move on. Alright, now for the torso we'll be doing it in sections. These are the parts you'll need for this first part. This is a mirror design so you'll have to build this uh, the opposite way for the other side. So that's one side. To start with, take this, um, take this, this piece, put two, two long axles on either side, and then on the inside, go ahead and attach this Horty Connect piece just like this. And I have uh, a little bit of Sharpie on the Horty Connect to keep the arm supported, because that's where the shoulder joints are going to go. So do that. Then take this Technic piece, Put two three long pins, and if this were the other side, then this one would be on the other on the other side. So put those on just like that, and then stick that over the whole thing. Uh, not like that, like this, so that all the holes are facing the same way, and you get an effect like that. All right, now set that down for now. Take this um, lift arm piece that's shaped like a T, and then take a three long stud pin piece or not stud pin, uh, stud axle. Slide that through with a washer in between and then put a washer on the other side to space it out, just like that. And then go ahead and line that up inside the center of the Vaki waist, or the Vaki lower leg. 
and the slope should be, be facing um, what would be downward on the leg if you were looking at it the way it's positioned in the set. So put it in just like that. And it should line up. Then go ahead and take this whole section and slide it straight through three holes. So it lines up just like that. Then on the final remaining hole, take a four long axle with a stopper on the end and slide that all the way through just like that and set that down. Then you'll need this Technic connector piece with this other Technic connector piece and a blue pin on one side and with the blue pin facing uh, with the blue pin facing inward like this go ahead and attach this whole thing together yes it should be facing like this that's how it goes so put it in just like that and mirror it build a second one and this is what will be making up his shoulder joints so we will move on all right for this next two sections these are the parts you'll need to start with we'll build the center of his torso so go ahead and take this double uh, socket piece take a very useful take two very useful pieces and put uh, two four long axles on either side and slide one of them through the uh, the center hole on the double socket piece take this Technic connector piece and slide that through the other axle and cap it off on the other side with another very useful piece until it's all flush together just like that and then go ahead and attach this Technic connector to the front so it um, so it's flush like that and then take this uh, Barak shield piece and put it right on the connector on the front and set that down for the next part this is his neck joint and take two um, two axle pieces and put them together on the lower half of this uh, I don't know what to call that piece but it's got three axle holes on it put a five angle uh, Technic piece on it and then a socket joint on the other, a hand connector. Then on either side of the hand connector take these two constructions and this piece is just, all of this is just mostly filler. So however you build this, it should however form that shape and obviously cap it off on the other end with the other side and we will move on. All right, this next part is two just very simple armor add-on pieces. So to begin with, we'll take this um, this armor piece, I don't know what to call it, take a connector, put it on the inside, and then obviously fill in the connection with a too long axle. Then on either side, take these two faucet pieces and just fill in the empty holes, just like that. And that's one done. Take these two new bionicle uh, pin axle pieces stick them on the inside of this metro armor and this is just a three long lift arm with a filler piece on it to fill in that empty space on the inside just stick that over the front and that's that section done moving on all right now for the last little armor add-on pieces for the torso these are just two ccbs armor add-on pieces with a borak eye stuck to the first pin sticking out of there so you'll need two of those. And then as well as that, we have a, um, a purple stud on a five angle connector piece. This connects to one side of this, but this construction is built using a three long pin axle going through the uh, fin blade here. Put a cheese slip on one end and facing towards the inside, put one of these Technic connectors and then stick the remaining axle into the other side and that is the chest plate and that was the last piece now let's show you how to put it all together all right go ahead and gather all your pieces of the torso you've already assembled and to start with we will take this chunk and for a couple of these you'll actually need to disassemble them a little so I apologize for that so take the Borok shield off the front there then go ahead and attach both of the ball joints on the Vaki waists 
the Vaki limbs, sorry, to the either side and attach it in a way that the blue pins on these pieces right here are facing forwards, just like that. Then go ahead and take this uh, armor piece and on this axle right here, attach just like so. All right, now set that down. Now for this piece, you'll actually have to take these, this um, front axle off just like that and split it just like that. Um, set that aside for now and then just take the angled piece and stick, stick it on one of those two ground axles sticking out and then pushing it together simply attach that piece just like so and you'll notice these uh, two Vaki limbs on the front are starting to like bend in and out just like that that's kinda interesting well go ahead and bend them backwards all the way they'll actually go just like that and you'll see why here in a second take your um, Go ahead and take this piece and jam it back in between these two pieces like so. So you get that and then take your too long pin and stick it right on the front just like that. So now that piece is held in place by the armor piece in the back. And then take this uh, Borak shield piece and put it back on the front like this. So it kind of sits over top everything. Then take this whole chunk back and put it back together only this time just like that so it should snap evenly in place over both sides and it should be sticking out at a bit of an angle from the front just like that All right, and now if you notice the blue pins should be sticking out just beside those two washers so take this this chest plate piece and on these two connections simply work those down onto the blue pins just like that it's easier than it sounds so just like that then let's go ahead and flip this over take this uh, metro torso chest plate and just stick it onto this connector that we attached earlier and then last but not least lay down these hand connectors on either side and take your CCBS armor pieces and on the other stud or on the other available pin, simply just put the stick the uh, pin into the end of the hand connector on either side. And adjust them as needed until the shoulders stay flush. And these will overlap each other a little bit. There's nothing you can really do to prevent that. And that is how you build Regron's torso. Next I will show you how to build his head. Alright, and now time for the head. These are the parts you'll need. To start with, let's take these pieces right here in the center and connect them like so. Just like that. Also you will need a cut lightsaber rod here that is three and a half lengths long. You'll take that and then slide it through the stud pin in the center here until it staggers on either side evenly. Alright, and then following that we're going to take these two Exoforce robot arms and stick a robot claw in the side hole in the middle right there and then do that for both arm pieces and stick them together like so with a washer in the center. This is sometimes a little challenging. So you should get something like that. And that should click over this whole thing like so. Don't worry if they come apart in the center as long as that piece is there that should work in the end. Alright, and next we will take this piece and this is a rubberized little like harness piece for some part. I don't know, I got this one on a Lego Star Wars set. Uh, put that on either side of this um, flex tube and stagger it once again until you get something like this. Then go ahead and take this Winua Hortica head and 
line up that hole with the hole in the mask. Take a four long axle and slide it all the way through and put a washer on either side, just like so. Then go ahead and pull the harness piece over the front and then with these two Kulta horn pieces, um, well first of all, take the ends of this um, of these Exoforce arms and shove them up into there as far as they'll go. Then take the two horn pieces and pull them back and clip them to the robot hands on either side. Just like that. You should get this kind of effect here. Then on the front in this connection right here put a pneumatic T piece. Just like so. and then attach two uh, droid arm pieces on either side and then simply clip them to the harness piece like that so you should get something like this now last but not least for the eyes of the mask, you will need two of these claw pieces from the new uh, Bionicle sets, and simply just take them like this and shove them between the mask and the rubber piece so that they go up, and uh, I believe they go in like this actually, and shove them up so that they basically just line up with the eyes of the mask, and they should fit in there just perfectly to hide them. And that is how you build. Regron's head. Now I'll show you how to put them all together. Alright, so gather all of the body parts and lay them out. We'll start with the waist and the torso. This is a really simple connection. Just on these two uh, bits right here, just put the two exposed axles on and it should click straight into place. You may have to move some things out of the way in order to get them there, but yep, that's how that connects. Then for the lower legs, obviously, just stick them on to the uh, hip joints right there. And then lay the uh, little armor flaps down over the sides, laying the chain so they sit there naturally. And then for the arms, you're going to have to do something special here. So what I usually do is I take off these new up shoulder pad pieces so I can get to the ball joint and clip it on just right there. You also need to stick these blade pieces underneath this ball armor piece right here and it actually creates like a shoulder blade effect that moves around and stays under that piece almost like a muscle which I thought was kind of cool. Then just clip the piece back to the side there and you get the arm go ahead and do that with the other side and then last but not least the head just snaps straight onto the neck joint and that is how you build Regron and so guys that is it that is how you build Regron the gravitational general if you liked the video, please make sure to like the video and share, comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. For our next how to build, we will be doing Gamoth because he had the same number of votes as Regron did last time, so look forward to that. Sorry about there not being a vote this week, but make sure that if there's a mock you want to see that you request him down below. Check out the Order of Matanui Files playlist for all my mocks that I've posted so far. If you like the character of Regron and build your own version of him, using these designs or not, please feel free to share it with me. Post a link to your version down in the comments below and I will check it out. If you post your own version or use a design from this mock, post a link to your version down below and I'll link you at the end of the video with the rest of the awesome people. So guys, without further ado, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next How to Build.